just on the way back from the pool. As you can see, it's a lovely day. Blue sky. Oh. I'm back home. This is the house. I've just done 1500 meters on the, in the pool. Um, all front crawl or freestyle as the Australians like to know it. So today I'm going to do a what I ate. So post swim smoothie, I'm going to do seven bananas. That's one. That's two. All the nice ones. Go to compost. That's four. That's five. Take hardly any time. Six. That's seven. I really like a good lump of peanut butter. A tablespoon. Some hemp seeds. Perfect protein. Some barley grass powder. Some spirulina powder. Look, a bit too much spirulina powder. Some guarana. To help me energize. Help me energize during the day. Bit of water, bit more water. Keep me hydrated. I'll go with a good lucky like tail. Sound like Jamie Oliver. Two minutes, got a breakfast fit for a king. So what do you do when you wake up in the morning? Do you check your phone, check your emails, turn on the TV, look at the news? I've been realizing more and more that our morning really sets the tone for our day. So starting off with a meditation some exercise, a smoothie, this really sets the mood for the day, gives you the right tone. So it's the 4th of January. It's the 4th day of Veganuary. Veganuary.com. Sign up. Try vegan this January. It doesn't matter if you're a few days late, you can still join in. Uh, it's well worth it for a month. It gives you all the nutritional advice, all the recipes, and bunch of other fun stuff. You can look at it on Facebook as well. So instead of doing Veganuary this month, Beth and I will be doing Organic Veganuary. So why organic? Basically, organic is better for the environment, it's better for our bodies, it's better for the people working, it's better for animals. So let's start with bodies. Um, this little booklet produced by the Soil Association shows independent research has found that there are about 40% higher antioxidant levels in organic food which allows better nutrition for calorie intake. Um, there's also lower harmful cadmium nitrogen pesticide residues than non-organic than organic, the non-organic counterparts. Um, what else? I've got in this one, also by the Soil Association, there's 50% higher plant, insect and bird life on organic farms. That's great. That's better for the wildlife. Um, generally, organic farmers are treated better. There's more, more likely to be fair trade less likely to be abusive systems of control and it's also way so much better for topsoil conditions and even in the in the global south it can produce higher yields than traditional production or traditional production so organic systems really offer a positive and realistic alternative 
Now we're lucky enough to have the Unicorn nearby, which is a, a cooperative, vegan cooperative, organic, mostly organic grocery that offers organic produce for a, a decent competitive price compared to the supermarkets. Now there aren't cooperatives everywhere, so I don't expect everyone to go fully organic. Um, just where you can, and if it's not too expensive, and if you're in the, if if you have the means, then go for it. I mean, just try it out. It's better for your health. It's better for the animals, and it's better for the environment. That's kind of a next step of veganism, really. Um, so yeah, we're going to be doing that. We're, we're four days in. We're doing great. Um, but we have the means. So let us know what you think about that in the comments below. Subscribe. Hey, here I am for lunch. I've been sitting in a park in the middle of Moss Side, but it's quite nice. Um, I'm eating about 15 satsumas, mandarins, clementines, whatever you call them. I just got from the Unicorn, which is amazing, for about a pound. Um, yeah nature's fast food. So it's evening time, about 5.30. Just got back from a swim, snacking on some organic Bombay mix and drinking lots of water before Beth gets back. Swam about one and a half K again, but we're focused on technique. Hey, we're just making dinner tonight. We're having some baked sweet potatoes with no oil and no salt. So what are we having for dinner? We're having a raw pad thai, um, as requested by Louis's sister. She would like the recipe. So we'll start by, we will spiralize these two courgettes or more zucchinis and one carrot. And we've got this little handheld spiralizer to do that. So you just pop it in here and you start spinning it and that's, it does make this this zucchini is a bit big, so it's hard to get it in there. There you go. Now you can see them coming out. So yeah, we're gonna do that to the zucchinis and the carrot. Then we'll chop up this green capsicum and add that to it. Um, our dressing we'll make from the juice of a lime. I'd usually use the juice of an orange, but we don't have any, so we're going to use a mandarin. Um, a heap of fresh ginger because ginger's delicious. Um, some miso, probably a decent tablespoon of miso. Um, alternatively, you could use tamari, and we'll use probably four tablespoons of tahini. Actually, we've forgotten one ingredient. We also put peanut butter in the dressing. That's kind of the main flavour in pad thai. We make our peanut butter ourselves from just peanuts. So we'll just blitz all that in the blender and then pour it on top. And yeah. Peanut butter. Louis made this yesterday. You just roast the peanuts and then blend them in the Omni blend. So it's not fully raw, but it's almost raw. Yeah. All right. So Louis just pouring our raw pad thai dressing over our zoodles, and we've put some fresh capsicum in there. A really nice touch, if you have it, is fresh coriander, because that just tastes delicious in this salad. So yeah, that's everything. And it's dinner time. Mm -mm. We're gonna enjoy this. See you later. Don't forget, if you're eating raw foods and cooked foods together, make sure you eat the raw foods first because they digest quicker. Cool. Well, comment below if you've got any questions and thumbs up and subscribe and all the good stuff if you want to see more. Good night. Good night.